Hey Scott, Lance Ewing here. My son, uh, four-year-old son, Jax, and I really, uh, really love the show. And uh, I've been listening to it for a while. I'm kind of bouncing around a little bit because I'm just getting started, and I listen to some at the beginning and some at the some of the newer ones as well. And my question is, I'm uh, testing uh, samples from China at the moment, and I have a product that uh, is selling really well on Amazon, and I'm trying to change it just a little bit. But with that, they're saying that they cannot put the logo on the product. I'm basically putting a wrap around an existing product, and there's no room to put the logo. They said they can put it on the box, and I'm concerned because I want to have a, a brand name on the product um, as well as the box. And I'm not sure as far as branding goes with Amazon. I think they've switched maybe where you have to have both, but I'm not sure. So that's my question. Um, again, I really, uh, really appreciate everything as far as the podcast goes, and um, I'm looking to... Um, to uh, start your course here in the next uh, in the next couple weeks, and uh, just uh, thank you for everything. Uh, from Dallas, talk to you later. Well, first off, Lance, I absolutely love that uh, voicemail that your son recorded. That is just awesome. I think that's a first. I think that's a first. Uh, so congratulations on that, by the way. And uh, yeah, just thank you so much for that. And tell your son that I said high five or not said, maybe you can high five him and say, Scott said he wants me to high five you. Uh, that would be cool. Um, I think you said his name was Jack or Jackson. I couldn't understand. But anyway, just wanted to give him a shout out and say thank you so much for being a listener of the podcast. And uh, again, I want to just say, you know, yes, bouncing around is okay because, you know, things are changing. And as you go through them, you might want to start going through a little bit of the ones that are more current. Um, anyone else that's brand new to listening to the podcast, there's a lot of episodes that are still very, very relevant, but a few things might have been changed or tweaked. Um, so then it's always good to kind of listen to some of the more current ones as well, especially about any of these changes. Um, that might be uh, happening or that have happened. Um, so this way here, you can kind of adjust, uh, you know, towards uh, towards your plan. All right. So, um, okay, let me answer your question. Now, okay, you're saying that you have a product right now that's selling very well. It sounds like it's selling really well. So that's awesome. Congratulations on that. Round of applause. Okay. But now let's talk about the branding aspect of things. Now, I think what you're saying is your product doesn't really lend itself well to being branded, or you're saying that the manufacturer doesn't want to brand that product or says that they can't brand that product. So I would want to look into that further, whether it's a tag that could be put on it or if it can be engraved into it or some way to have just some type of initialing in a sense that marks it as your product because if you are going to be branded or brand registered, uh, it will make it better if it's on the product. Now, I don't know 100% if it has to be on the product. It just has to be branded in the packaging or the wrapping um, of that product, okay? You have to be able to show a picture of your branding on the product, and that that branding could be just if it's saran wrapped or not saran wrapped, shrink wrapped, uh, and and you have the the logo on that. That could be um, enough, okay? But I would work really hard to try to get them to brand the product if you can. If not, then definitely the box, definitely the wrapping that's you know surrounding the product, whether it's uh like like we said, like if it's shrink wrap or any other type of wrapping, you would want that branded. Um, so this way here, you have it kind of concealed into the box and into the, the wrapping, and it shows your brand all the way through. So this way here, if you had a claim that someone was trying to hijack or someone was trying to make a counterfeit of your product, well, then you would be able to prove that, no, theirs doesn't have this because ours is especially branded here. This will just help you in the future if you ever run across a problem. So I would work on getting that done and making it, uh, you know, like I said, it, as branded as possible that you're allowed to do within, you know, your manufacturer, whatever they can do. Um, so I would definitely work on that, especially if you're telling me that the product is selling very well and, uh, and, and you want to go ahead and do that now. So I would definitely say that that would be one of my priorities. So hopefully this has helped you. Um, 
And like I said, I would probably make this a priority to try to get that done. One last thing is though, one you, once you do get it branded on your packaging or uh, even on the item itself, I would show that in your pictures. So this way here, it's also going to show anyone that's possibly thinking about uh, hijacking or whatever, or you know, taking over your your product or or your brand, they're gonna know it's not gonna be that easy because you are branded, you know, within that product. So just another little side note there for you. Well, hey there, thank you so much for listening to that episode of Ask Scott. Now that was just a highlight from one of our full episodes where I generally answer three to four questions on a podcast. If you wanna go back and listen to all of the past archives of not just the Ask Scott session, but all of the full episodes where I do interviews with top Amazon sellers, people starting from scratch and building a business, if you wanna listen to any of those episodes, head over to theamazingseller.com and you can find all of that over there. You can also find details there on how you can ask your own question and get it aired on an upcoming Ask Scott session and possibly see it here on YouTube or just on the podcast. All right, so definitely head over to theamazingseller.com there's tons of resources over there for you to be able to build your e-commerce and Amazon business. So definitely go check that out. Now, I just wanted to remind you one thing before I let you go. There's a lot of information out there and some of it is really, really good. But what I want you to remember is you have to not just consume the information, you have to actually apply that information. So take this information that you learned here today and apply it to your business. And this way here, you can get results. As my shirt says, I wear it almost daily. Take action. We'll see you guys.